Good day ladies and gents, BSG just uploaded a patch with some fixes and a little bit of new content and I'm gonna go through the patch notes, show you the new stuff and uh, tell you about the fixes. So let's go, let's go through it. Added new quests and expanded existing quest lines. Alright, since this is really interesting, let's instantly check the new quest. I just opened the game, I didn't see which new quest I got. So, let's have a look. So, proper. Glory 2 CPSU Part 2. Hmm. Locate the place of work of Proper's friend on streets of Tarkov. Alright. Pets won't need it. Locate the scout and scout the vet clinic on streets of Tarkov and get the x-ray, get into the x-ray technician's room. Alright, so this is, uh, this is the new area of streets. Ambulances again. Locate and obtain the ambulance paramedic smartphone on streets of Tarkov in one raid. Okay. I like the fact that they added in one raid, so it's easy easy to understand that you have to do both actions in the same raid. Beyond the Red Meat Part 1. Alright, so this is clearly Street's new area, and they want us to locate and obtain information on culinary secrets at the Beluga restaurant. Alright. Alright, I have a daily here. Uh, Gunsmith Part 23. I'm not sure if this is new. Is this new? Gunsmith Part 23? It might be. I am not sure about this one. Out of time. Holy. They want us to locate and obtain clock dial paintings. And there is 12 of them. Holy. Does it say which location? It says any location. Hmm. Alright, this is interesting. This quest might take me a while. We have broadcast part 5. Locate and eliminate priests. So this is a cultist type of quest. Which is probably tough to do since cultist spawn chance is very, very slim. Big game. Locate and el eliminate Kaban and kill his guards. Alright, so we finally got Kaban quest. I expected that this wipe. And here we are. Alright, let's go back to the patch notes. Weapon preset list tab will now display presets available for selected weapon. Added the option to hide the intermediate trader list screen. Alright. Where is the option to hide the intermediate list screen? Is it like in settings? Trading intermediate screen. All right. If we enable it and save it, we'll click trading. We'll click on the trader. All right. What if we disable it? If we disable it, we'll go to the main menu. We'll click on trading and it instantly takes us to the screen. So we don't need to click on the trader anymore. All right. That's a good thing. That is a good thing for sure. Added the option to configure the use of consumable items on double click. All right, let's go to settings. Um, hmm. I am not sure where that setting is. Double click item quick use in rate and in stash. Oh yes, in rate only. I don't want to double click and use stuff in in uh, in my stash. I accidentally managed to drink a couple of moonshines like this, and I lost like five hundred thousand rubles like this so that's a good thing let's save that fixes fix the known uh issues with loading into the raids as pmc and scaps which were special notes on shoes of tarkov so if you were getting infinite uh, matchmaking glitch or it was taking like seven minutes to find the raid on streets as it's as a pmc or as a scav right now it should be better various visual fixes on streets of tarkov uh, fixes for sound Fix the bug where the fog on Sheets of Tarkov wasn't rendering. So if you were using zoomed optics, the fog wasn't rendering inside them and you could see the map much better. I personally quite like that, but there is a fix which sadly fixes it. Fix the incorrect number of landmine explosions on Lighthouse. Fix the scroll bar display in the list of items for butter when switching to another item. Fix PMC and scaf's, uh, scaf hands freezing after using consumables. Fix error 228 when trying to remob the floor at the defective wall in the hideout, fix the known causes of memory leak. This is a big thing. Um, it depends on what kind of memory leaks they, they fixed. And maybe right now your game frames won't be going down as much after three or four raids and we won't need to restart the game as much as we used to. Fix the radio transmitter of refreshing craft. Uh, basically this was bugged and uh, you were not able to restart the game while um, crafting the transmitter. Fix quests, knock knock and getting acquainted. Fix the bug where the effect of medication ended before the timer did. 
Fix the bug where energy was restored when cancelling the use of painkiller. Fix the bug where players were getting less money than indicated in the pop-up message for selling items to fence. After a scav raid. Fix the sorting table uh, getting frozen after raid is a scav. Fix missing warning messages. Fix and correct display of red out of stock offers that remained on the flea. Alright. Fix the container search sound looping if a player or a bot was killed during the search. Fix display of a flashlight light in third person if you move to the working flashlight from helmet to the weapon hands. Alright, there is a lot of different bug fixes. Uh, laser beam no longer changes its direction depending on the observer's angle when FOV is over 50. Um, fix Kibo arms 25 mountain sound on the helmet. Fix air 500 when player is trying to repeatedly sell scav equipment. Adjusted the recoil on SVT and AV. T40. Actually, I want to do this one. Uh, I want to do a test. Let's quickly buy an AVT and perform a little test to see how how worse the recoil became. Because my bet is that it's much, much worse now. All right, so I actually can't get AVT now because it's available after the quest completion and I haven't done this quest. So I cannot get the AVT, I'm afraid. All right, recoil test. Hmm, it doesn't feel much worse, to be honest. So, um, vertically, the recoil is more or less the same. The gun jumps ups, up and down exactly the same as it used to. However, it jumps to the left and to the right way more than it used to. So, in other words, BG really increased horizontal recoil. Horizontal is way worse than it used to be. Uh, and with AVT, it's probably the same. Fix the equipment and pouches tap icons in the equipment kits. Fix the overlapping images when loading into the raid. Fix the ability to check stash while in the raid. So that was a bug where you were able to access your stash while you were in raid. And I think you were even able to loot something on the map and put it in your stash. And even if you died, that item would have been saved in your stash. Uh, fix the Laverty level 2 zones visual that obst obstructed the screen when switching to the weapon stand. Fixed an issue with the part of the inventory panels missing if a container search was previously interrupted by another player. Fix the deletion of the preset if the preset uh, override window. If in the preset override window you were first refuse to override the preset and the. Oh my lord, this is so. Oh, bro, I, I'm not even gonna think about this one. Fix the first person stock folding animation. Fix the SPT radio transmitter reflashing for the getting a quantity task. Fix player death at the end of 10 minutes timer after visiting Lightkeeper. So that was a glitch. If you were to go to the Lightkeeper and you were to leave Lightkeeper and you wouldn't extract from the map within the 10 minutes, you would just die. That was the bug and it is fixed. Fix the cleaving of Eco 1 thermal side with specific weapon attachments. Fix magnification of Eco 1 and Zeus. Added the compatibility of specific scopes with CSS rail mount for Saigon. Fix the possibility of earning flea market rating for repeatedly selling an item to the same player, fix the issues with adding notes to maps. Who uses notes on maps? Do you use do you use notes on maps? Anyway, fix the uh, scav groups as they can no longer move one at a time during patrol. All right? I guess they move as a whole group. Fix the acrol of hydration acrol acrol Fix the acrol of hydration. What does this word even mean, acrol? Energy and health values in stash of a building, nutrition unit level 3. SP8 signal pistol animations and reload sounds no longer disappear. Improved scabs reaction to grenades. Factory banner is no longer displayed while loading in streets. Alright, so those are the patch notes. Check me out on Twitch. I'll be streaming right there right now. And thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.